So hello everyone, this is Aether Nightmare, and welcome back to session number 72 of Genshin Impact. I know it's been a week, I've missed you too, but uh, there is some new quests going on, a new event, and thankfully it was patient enough to wait for me this time and didn't start on freaking Christmas holiday. And that is Shadows Amidst Snowstorms. Last time I had a little bit of trouble with this considering um, I really have great difficulty streaming on... Uh, holidays because the neighbor's kids just always coalesce into my yard like they did yesterday even in pitch black darkness they're out there screaming their heads off in my backyard even though they live so far away so um it'd be nice to not have that they'll probably have some other um thing this year instead and i'll have to find a way around that find it around the noise oh please let them be gone soon they're supposed to be getting evicted soon thank fucking god but anyway we have shadows amidst snowstorms i just had to bitch a little bit just 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 a crumb i had a week of this so just just a crumb paimon has an odd thought and drags you back to mondstadt alchemy shop to seek answers i'm <laughs> like to seek participate uh participate in the event to receive the following awards and not only do we have a crown but we also have something called the cinnabar spindle a sword that is primarily focused on defense, so it is an excellent weapon for a character such as Albedo. Now there have been a few um, updates since this, since this quest, and as a result, there are now also uh, two banners that are available. One is Eula and one is Albedo. Now I can't think of any other character that is a regular sword wielder that uses defense yet. I'm sure eventually there will be one, but as is, I can't really think of another character to give that sword as of yet. So a part of me kind of wonders if I should pull an albedo, but at the same time, um, I know that I want stuff in the upcoming banners, so I think I might hold off my pity for increasing Ganyu since she is my main. I don't know. I did a poll last time too. I'll edit it into the beginning of this video. Since I was gone for a week, I used my my blue currency and wound up with Barbara. So let's go, the snowy past. I'm starting a bit late today too because I slept in, but I doubt I'll be able to get too far. I really appreciate the longer quest time. This time around we get two weeks instead of just one. Because sometimes I have weeks that are just ungodly busy. Like, you know, last week. Hey, come in. Uh, is that Albedo? Why is he leaving? And why does he look so serious? Did something happen? the Traveler and Paimon. Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research projects. Ah, uh, so we just missed him. Maybe we should have hollered to him. He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Huh? Upset? You mean Albedo? Yeah, he wasn't looking his usual self. Doesn't he always look broody, though? Upset? Uh-oh. I wonder if... What are you looking at me for? What did you do, Timaeus? I wonder if Timaeus's research topic is <laughs> so boring that Albedo finally snapped. Surely not. It's not that boring, is it? <laughs> nah. Anyway, Paimon wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus. A favor? <laughs> well, well, sure. How can I help? Well, Paimon bunch of super duper sweets and sedias in the mountains the other day but if paimon eats them all then they'll all be gone so paimon isn't ready to finish them all yet so you want me to preserve your fruit do we not have canning in this universe paimon was 
thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. That way, they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon needs. Well, juicing them doesn't automatically mean preservation, Paimon. And you can honestly God do that with a rock and a bucket. So, <laughs> uh, that is definitely not something I would qualify as a, uh, invention worthy of note in this era. Um, but canning them could work if we have some way to freeze dry them. That could work. Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little, uh... Or if you want juice to be preserved forever, or not forever, but at least every long time, you turn it into alcohol. Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Can't you do it? <laughs> Paimon, I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. Did you not listen to what I just said? You turn the sugar into alcohol and it preserves the juice. I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but I'd probably just end up giving all your precious fruits arms and legs. <laughs> Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Huh, you'd think I'd be used to this by now. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. If you just wanted to modify certain properties of the fruit or their seeds, on the other hand, I'd easily be able to help with that. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative, but it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. No, we could do freeze drying up on Dragon Spine. I'm sure it has a pretty, um,. Decent climate enough for it. I mean, that's how we used to freeze dry things here in America before we had electricity. We would actually get them freeze dried up in Alaska and then transport them back down to the rest of the Americas. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. There is a big difference between the two. Sorry, I just don't know what that has gotten into Paimon today. Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power. I know I'm probably like taking this so out of context to teach science, but whatever. In fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. Yeah, well, everything thought everybody thought that about alchemy and chemistry when it was first invented as well, and see how far we come and how far we have fallen. Of course, we know better now. But even then, I have to admit, alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve it indefinitely. Uh, oh, oh, uh, sorry. That wasn't meant as a criticism against you personally. I know this is meant to the Traveler, but as someone who's a chemist in real life, I'm just sitting here like, I guess. Don't blame yourself for Paimon's outlandishness. I'll make sure to keep Paimon in check in the future. Of course, these are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. Uh, he doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? Also, if we end up freeze-drying the fruit and, um preserving it that way we can then also powder it and once it is powdered it basically becomes super healthy version of tang he won't albedo is not that kind of person there's something about albedo today yeah today today is not reflective of my personality i have bad days too something's been different what could it be he looked in a different direction for five seconds, something must be wrong. Hey, so where is Albedo heading to anyway? Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. He seems particularly fond of that place. And somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. 
Yeah, some of us are introverts and want to get away from people. I'd probably be up there too. This is the same reason I live in northern Michigan, or at least started out that way. Then let's go to Dragon's Find to find him. Come on, there's no time to lose. So gross. Seriously? Albedo doesn't like my alchemy device? It can create tiny ice crystals. <sighs> I thought I had a good design here. I was planning to take it further. My boy created ice cubes in a world without electricity, and Edo, Albedo gave him the snub for that? Are you kidding me? Timaeus, it's not completely useless, but perhaps it needs to be a little more original. Sucrose, you have no idea the power that creating ice can be. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, I'll give it some more thought. Hmm. Then again, what is the use of this thing? I'm the one who came up with it, and even I can't think of a potential application. Anything you need in order to make a coolant, whether it be for machines, stabilizing chemicals, putting ice in your drink. I'm salty. I'm very salty. I can't think of a useful application of ice in chemistry, and I'm just back here screaming. <laughs> Preserving bio cells. Oh my god. Hi, Amber. Hmm? This looks lively. What's the occasion? Let's go and have a look! Hey, Traveler and Paimon! Fancy meeting you all the way out here! Amber? Cyrus? Haller? What's everyone doing at Dragon's Fine? Don't you mind the cold? <laughs> Long time new see. Please get new outfits soon. Oh? The Traveler is joining us too! Oh, great! Fantastic! Wonderful! <laughs> the more the merrier. I remember he voices um one of our playable characters. I just don't remember which one. Was it Goro or Albedo? I don't remember. I agree. I feel much better with the traveler joining us. Definitely the kind of person you want to have around in a tight spot. What have I walked into here? What's the occasion? Oh right! Paimon remembers most of these people are from the Adventurers Guild. Then again, it seems a certain outrider is doing too. <laughs> Allow me to explain. The Adventurers Guild is holding winter trading on Dragon Spine. As you know, our members have varying levels of adventure experience. Dragon Spine is an excellent place for budding adventurers to challenge themselves and improve. But it's dangerous to go alone. So. We made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragon Spine together under safe and controlled circumstances. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this, and I just hand you a big burly man. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I've been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> it's a great plan, isn't it? Hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help out. So, uh, Amber, what you doing here? Is the Adventurer's Guild short on experienced members? Well, that's part of it, actually. The other reason is, when I was patrolling the perimeter of Dragonspine, I found a lost kid named Joel. Mmm. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. I remember that kid, the one who lost his father a year ago. I know. Joel's father went missing. Yes. Missing. Totally didn't jump off a cliff and hope the snow would save him and never came back. I totally sympathize with how much Joel misses his family. Dragon's Spine is so bleak and deserted. It must have been so lonely for him here. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up, 
So, I said I'd build a snowman with him. It's something he enjoys doing. It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while and help Cyrus out. Since it's for Joel, count me in. Since it's for you, Amber, count me in. Aw, really? Thank you. Let's go meet up with Joel then. Oh, I invited another friend of mine to join too. She should be here any second. She'll be perfect for this kind of thing. Hey, Cyrus, we've got to take off. Is that okay? No problem. Go ahead. I still have some final checks to make, so I will call you before we depart. Do you want to build a snowman? I'm not even going to attempt to sing. My voice hasn't warmed up <laughs> for talking, let alone singing. That won't end well. Yes. It feels like every time I try to drum up some enthusiasm for my idea, nobody wants to know. But whenever the young lass starts talking, everyone rallies behind her. What am I doing wrong? Hey, don't talk that way, Cyrus. You're the branch master. You're awesome. <sighs> Have you done anything apart from resting all day? Come on. Are your supplies ready? Have you done your warm-up exercises? If not, then get to it, lad. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, then. <laughs> Resting is a vital part of preparedness, though. You get too tired out in the snow here, you're in big trouble. Hey, Joel, we're here. It's been a long time. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Are you here to build a snowman, too? I kind of figured it'd be Eula. I don't really see her fitting in this, but hey! Build a snowman. Considering she is on the current banner, they probably a good idea they squeezed her in somewhere. Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and captain of the Knights of Favonius Reconnaissance Company. Amber, you're being far too formal. The child is never going to remember all that. Please, just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie Eula? Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of scores to settle. All right. If that's what you want to call me, go right ahead. She's probably never had a formality attached to her name like that before. Just let something go for once? Well, it's not negative in any way, Paimon. Amber, what's this I hear about a snowman? I came to assist because you told me the Adventurer's Guild was shorthanded. Yeah, that's something else. But look, Joel's at the age where he should be having fun, and there's nothing to play with on Dragonspine. We can always take him back to Mondstadt. I mean, it's not like his parents are here. He used to build snowmen with his dad, and since his dad's not around, we're keeping him company instead. Besides, Eula, it's gotta be more fun than taking an ice bath all by yourself. <laughs> Let's combine our forces and build ourselves a huge snowman. It'll be a ton of fun. Amber, do not dictate what I do with my own baths. Fine, I approve. Yep, yep! And besides, ice baths are incredible for your pores, so long as you've opened them up beforehand. <sighs> Auntie Eula, are you too busy to join in? If so, it's okay, I understand. <laughs> no, nothing like that. My mind was on something else, that's all. Building a snowman with Joel, are we? <laughs> Sounds wonderful. I'd be delighted to join you. Then let's get started. First, we need to split up into teams to gather some supplies. Joel and I will be on one team. You and Eula can be on the other team. Hey, Joel, see that huge tree over there? Want to race me there? Yeah, let's do it. She keeps having breaths at the end of her lines, which makes me think they didn't cut them properly. She did it all in one take, and they cut it improperly so the breath was supposed to be at the beginning of the other line but it's at the end of this one oops wow those two are fast always cut before your breaths it's 
hard to tell which of them is having more fun. Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just staring at each other without saying anything? I'm trying to figure out what you're thinking. Um, well... <clears throat> We're alone. <laughs> you can say. Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life in the city. He doesn't know me. And he doesn't know what the Lawrence name means to the people in Mondstadt. Right. That's why he calls you Auntie Eula. Careful, Paimon. True. In his eyes, I'm just another ordinary person from Mondstadt. And why is that necessarily a bad thing? By getting rid of the animosity in the future children, we can also end strife conflict between clans. So, yeah. It was a surprise, but not in a bad way at all. Is there something else bothering you? Hmm. How very perceptive of you. Were you staring at me the whole time when everyone was talking? Yes. You shan't be getting off lightly for that. I'm sorry, but you're very pretty. The truth is, I'm a little concerned that I might be quite inept at building snowmen. I have never built a snowman before. My upbringing was very strict, so I never had the chance when I was a child. Mm, yeah, same. And after I grew up, of course, it's not the sort of thing I would spend my time doing. Starting to feel sorry for you, uh. Oh, <laughs> the bird. <laughs> That's what it feels like with me and these kids. Uh, take it easy. It's just for fun. Don't worry about it. The honorary night will help you out. You sound confident. <laughs> All right then. Enough small talk for now. I see we have a member of the Adventurers Guild joining us. Uh, so Eula's voice is making the same mistakes that mine currently is. So it's very obvious her VA recorded these early in the morning, or just after she woke up. Greetings. We have a slight problem here. We've done a head count, and it turns out that we have an odd number of participants. In other words, we still have one instructor slot left to fill. Well, give the best instructor two students. How it happened was, we originally asked Fischl to be an instructor, but she was busy with something outside of Mondstadt during this period. So, we found another adventurer to fill in for her, but they still haven't shown up yet. Thank goodness you are here. <sighs> oh, hello. My name is Gerald. I'm a new adventurer. Hmm. In that case... I guess you can help. Fine. But for that, you will pay. Huh? Pay for what? You're in safe hands with Eula. Okay. I got it. I'm ready and willing to learn. Good, good. Then everything is settled. Thank you for your help, Eula. If anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Uh, no problem. Why did you give the spot to Eula? I want people to know all the good qualities she has. Eula desperately needs this kind of opportunity. Just now, it must have meant a lot to her. To be honest, Eula really is the best candidate for an instructor. Most people would find it hard to cope on the mountain because of the sheer cold, but not her. Oh, now Paimon gets it. This must be the whole reason why Amber got Eula involved in the first place. Um, we were supposed to find supplies, but now Eula's busy with other stuff, and uh. Paimon doesn't feel like going around collecting things. How do you think Amber and Joel are doing? Let's head up the mountain and see what they're up to. Paimon doesn't feel like collecting things because you make me do it every day. <laughs> Alright, how far up did she go? Not too far. Whee! Yeah, I've never really keep moving, but watch your step in the snow. I never really got a chance to build snowmen as a kid either, despite the fact I live in a place with a lot of snow. For the exact same reason as Eula.
Anyways, on we go. Gonna be dealing with this sheer cold mechanic again. I guess I could have warped there. I kind of forget where these are placed since I'm not up here all that often. <laughs> Help you fix the thing in the cutscenes again. Strange. Didn't you see they were going this way? Where the heck are they? Did we get here too late? Have they moved on already? A strange rustling surrounds you. Uh, did you hear that? I just heard a strange noise coming from up a mountain. Uh, could they be in danger? It's dragon spine, so quite possibly. Hurry! Let's go check it out! Follow the source of the voice. Anyway, for people who don't know, really quick, um, this tree right here is basically sort of like a statue of the seven. You will find these red orbs. Orbs? Uh, collectible around dragon spine, you give it to this tree and you can eventually get a new pair of wings. I also know there's currently an event going on um, with wings for Twitch subscri subscriptions. I'm not one of those people, but uh, if you are interested in that kind of thing, there are the KFC wings that you can get. Unfortunately, most of the streamers that I like that play Genshin aren't participating, so that sucks. There's a few that I might consider doing. Um, I just keep forgetting to do it, and they are never streaming <laughs> when I'm available, so <laughs> I might miss it for that reason. Like, I think it's a cool idea, it's just that most of the people who are, uh, doing it... It's coming from that direction. ...aren't people I'm familiar with. I mean, I totally would have participated, but I do not have enough subs to qualify. So you do have to stream Genshin for two weeks and nothing else, but you know what, that's totally fine by me. So, like I said, I would have done it, but I didn't qualify. The sound just completely stopped. Looks like we lost it. you to dragon spine so it was just you making all that noise oh so it was albedo all along all along well, what do you mean by that on the way here we kept hearing weird noises and it felt like someone was watching us the whole time turns out it was just you honestly you really gave us the creeps if you're bored up here go find something useful to do don't go sneaking around scaring the poop out of people Go find something too useful to do, she says to a person doing her job while she has none. The things you felt and heard could easily be attributed to animals, or bandits, perhaps. You should be wary at all times in this environment. There are all too many ways to sustain losses here if you aren't careful. Yeah, we do have frost arm lodge rolls up here, so... So, what business brought you here? It's a long story. We actually came to look for you! But then it turned into looking for Amber, but now we've met you, so we're back to that again. We went to build a snowman and didn't know how it wound up halfway up a mountain high. Hmm. Your thought process is rather chaotic, as is the way in which you articulate it. Hey! How dare you! All Paimon's trying to say is that we came here to look for you! Oh, is that so? Then it must surely be something of great importance. I'm all ears. Actually, there's nothing serious. He seems 
to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Does that mean Kameas' stupidity doesn't really get to him after all? We're probably overthinking it, and that's quite a way to put it. Huh. Okay, let's... Let's just forget that ever came up. That's okay if you can't tell me about it. Just treat this as an opportunity to stroll on the mountain and enjoy the view. So basically, the truth is we're here on adventurer duty. Tell the Abito about the Adventurers Guild. Oh, I see. So you foisted the rookie off onto Eula so that you could wander off and uh, goof around? Yeah, nailed it. Same shit he always does. He lives here, and he does his research here. A friend commissioned me to do some artwork recently, and I have yet to finish. I came here because it's a quiet place where I can gather my thoughts, gather inspiration, and gather some raw materials while I'm at it. Speaking of which, um, Twitch unlocked some more emote slots for me, so there are already more emotes available, and there's going to be two more on the way. I have commissioned an artist already to do so, so commissions are in the oven. Raw materials? For what? Paint. Star silver can be used to make high quality silver paint. I just ran out of my previous batch, so I'll collect some ore while I'm here. Ore can be used to make paint? Yeah, I also need to collect some to eventually make a different weapon for uh, Shinyan, probably. A four star with uh, physical damage. Yes. But you have to be selective with the specimens you choose. Even with a high level of impurities, star silver still contains fine silver colored particles. But they lack luster, which impacts the color saturation of the pigment made from them. A paint made with such pigment is generally viewed as a fake or a defective product. Interesting. So, paint aside, can you talk about how you find inspiration? Paimon wants to learn! You want to learn to paint? No, no, not for me, for the traveler! Paimon wants the traveler to learn how to paint! For what? During our travels, we sometimes have nights where there's nothing to do! It'd sure be nice to do something memorable rather than just sit around. I'm sorry, who makes your food, Missy? Great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. I have like three cameras on my possession, and now you want me to learn to paint? Yep, why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon! Not a bad idea. Well, since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Oh god, painting is like the one skill I do not have. Anything artistic like that? Mm -mm. I do not know how it comes together to make an image. Watching someone paint is like watching magic to me. Like, my brain cannot comprehend it. Sounds great! And what about Amber exactly? Oh, she'll be fine. She is a knight of Pavonius after all. Let's just forget about all that stuff for now and go with Albedo. All right, fine. Come on, let's go! It's so cold out. Paimon wants to get to the camp and warm up by the fire. Paimon, what is with you lately? <laughs> but yeah, I cannot comprehend art like painting. Oh, one of these things. Can I? Uh, does this need fire? It does. There we go. Otherwise, they're super hilly turtles. Yeah, some of these characters are. Almost friendship 10, so Rosaria is going to be leaving the party in a couple streams soon. Yas, give me that warmth.
Like, I can enjoy artwork, and it's cool watching people make artwork, but I literally cannot comprehend the process of making artwork. I've, I've been shown. You cannot teach me. It's been ransacked. What's going on? Some things are missing. Nothing valuable, hopefully. Wait, where's Paimon's Mora? I have it always. It's hard to say their value, but some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes? Would they fetch a high price? To the uninitiated, they are merely scraps of paper. But for someone who knows what they're doing. The knowledge contained in those notes is more valuable than any treasure. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the only people who come to Dragonspine are adventurers, thieves, and monsters! What use would any of them have with your notes? I mean, Hilly Charles did skill, skill? steal his sketchbook, so I don't think it's that simple. I feel the same way. However... Hilly trail break-ins and other such incidents are not unheard of on Dragonspine. It's difficult to draw a conclusion based solely on the evidence at hand. <sighs> hmm. These appear to be... Footprints? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase them down! We can't let them get away! From the entrance, the footprints go that way. All right. Oh, that thieving thief! You good, Paimon? Yeah, it's the thing about snow. It leaves tracks. I have been working on a couple other characters in the background, too. I'll probably get to them eventually. Uh-oh! I really wish using fire attacks had some effect on sheer cold. Ah, hello, Frosty. What's with all the ferrets? Get out of the way! I don't want to hit any ferrets! Magic go boom. There we go. Do not put that shield back up. Go on back here. Oh dear. There's nothing for me to latch on to. Okay, get out, I guess. Where are we looking? Here. Not here? Uh-oh. I gotta go back up really quick. I'm frozen. My ass has become frozen to the floor. 
here. That's why we have to hurry. Huh? The footprints stop here. Our thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We are going down. The wind glider's always ready, my dude. Here, more footprints. They're heading to the cavern. Ooh, we got you now. You sure can run, but you definitely can't hide! Let's go in! Okay. Wait. I have an idea. I'll go in alone. Traveler, please stay here and guard the entrance. This cavern has two points of entry, and there are shortcuts inside. Judging from the state of the footprints, he hasn't been in there long. I should be able to reach the other side before he does. Okay. Cut him off at both ends. Good idea! Whoever apprehends the thief first has to notify the other party. This way we're fully covered. Still, safety comes first. We do not yet know the identity of our thief. Please take care. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay, see you shortly. You take care too. Of course. Leaves you and Paimon to wait outside the cavern. How long has it even been? Really? Huh. Maybe it just feels like a long time because Paimon hates waiting. Waiting is so boring! Maybe you're the one who needs to learn how to paint then. Why don't we find something to do to pass the time? You know, something like... Um... Something like... Oh! Look at all that star silver over there! Why don't we gather it up for Albedo? We're not guarding the entrance to the cave, then. It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be going far. If anything happens inside, we can be right back here in no time. No. Yay! Let's get started. <sighs> no, we're neglecting our duties. Very pretty. All right, this should be enough. Hmm, some star silver shines a lot more brightly than others, huh? Finally, you're back. Yes. Hmm. Uh, then why is the thief not with you? Sorry, I was unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Completely empty handed. We did some mining. Uh, mining? Is his throat thingy gone? Yeah, for star silver. Look, we got quite a lot. But just like you said, some are really bright and shiny, and others just look like regular lumps of rock with a little shiny bit here or there. Yeah, his throat tattoo is missing. This probably isn't Albedo. <laughs> Star silver. I know because I stare at it constantly. Uh, uh, I was merely saying what was on the front of my mind. I hadn't thought you would genuinely go and gather some. Well, you said they can be turned into paint, so we got pretty curious. Also, if it weren't for that thief, we'd be making paint by now anyway, right? Or even painting by this point. Anyway, it's all the thief's fault for wasting our time. Yes, it's all the thief's fault. The notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search yet. Let's keep an eye out for clues as we go. Oh, just one thing. Do you want us to bring all this ore back, or did you want to sort through and get rid of the useless bits first? Watch him throw out the wrong chunk. There's no point in bringing the bad ones back if it'll ruin the quality of the paint. Some of them do look pretty dull to climb on, so it doesn't seem like those will be of any use at all. Hmm. In 
indeed. The sorting process is necessary. Humans are such practical creatures. Humans? They only want those things that are good. Once they have learned to distinguish between good and bad, they will never stop comparing things in their minds. Hello? Useless things should be disposed of at the outset. Right! Saves a lot of time that way. Efficiency first! So, let's start by... Help! Help me! No, I don't. Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that a cry for help? The voice sounded very familiar. It's likely an adventure in danger! Let's check it out. Okay! Was it not Joel? <laughs> Sayu looked like she had a little bit of a twitch there. You okay, Sayu? Are they in the lake? Oh, fishy spot. Hang on. Sorry, I just gotta mark this real quick. Okay, it's on the other side. There's a cage. The voice is definitely coming from around here. Audio keeps popping. Stop. Is anybody there? Help me! Oh, no, it is not Joel. <laughs> it's another small boy. No way. Is that? Hmm? Is that the traveler in Paimon? It's me, Bennett. Whoa, it's really him. This happens to you a lot, doesn't it? So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be someplace nearby. Please, help me find it. Oh my god. I'm sorry to trouble you. This is all my fault. Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Right now, I just need to get out of here. Ugh, I'm so cold. Achoo! Poor small child. I'm sorry to trouble you. This is all. Thanks. I'll be, uh, waiting right here. You know, this lock does not look that complicated. I have claymores. I can smash that. Literally just hit the one hinge on the left here, or on the right. Doesn't really matter, I guess. It swings off, and boom. That, or I could... These planks aren't that big. Stand back a little bit, Bennett. I can swing off one of these planks. You crawl out. Oh, that's not the key. <laughs> I don't actually have it. Uh -oh. we got company. Hello there, X-Men. one since ice actually takes him down a little faster the other fatui that commonly appears here is um a fire fatui so part of me kind of wonders if i should wonders if I should swap out Lisa for a water character. As redundant as that sounds like it could potentially be. Uh, Mona is the other only character I don't have friendship up with, so I guess Mona's on the party now. It is as the stars foretold. And I'm just gonna use five stars anymore, because honestly I'm low enough level that it doesn't make a difference whether I use four or five stars. So cry more, I guess. Oh, finally, I'm out. Thank you so much. If only there hadn't been rocks mixed in with the snow on the tree, it wouldn't have made me all dizzy when it fell down onto my head. And then I would have never walked into the Fatui's trap. There are rocks up in the tree? You know, normally I would complain about this, but the kids were attempting to get their sleds stuck up in the tree yesterday, so you know what? I believe it. Bennett? In a cage? 
Never saw that coming. <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details. Just me being unlucky again. We drove off the Fatui. <laughs> we got revenge for you. Yep, taking them out was child's play. No need to thank us. So you're telling me they found an unconscious child in the snow and stuffed him in a cage. Um, Ben and I'll be, I'll be right back. I need to make sure that my murder is complete. You did? <laughs> That's so nice of you guys. I know they were probably just following orders. But still, thanks for helping me out. Anybody following those orders deserves to die. So what are you doing on Dragonspine? Didn't Razor want to come with you? Did you hear about the Adventurers Guild thing? They're hosting a winter camp here. As one of their veteran adventurers, I'm here to help out the rookies. <laughs> what, are you and Razor attached to the hip now? Ah, so that's where the other instructor went. Razor is not an adventurer, and as the leader of Benny's adventure team, as well as the only actual member, I had to come on my own. But now I've been stuck here for so long, I probably missed it. Oh, I hope Cyrus doesn't get mad at me. So you're leading some of the rookies too. Might have dodged a bullet there. If so, sorry, Bennett, but you really did miss it. He got paired up with a different instructor instead. What? Weren't they short on instructors? Where'd they suddenly get extras from? A few people from the Knights of Havonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius. <sighs> yeah. They're definitely more reliable than me. I'm just a walking accident waiting to happen. Oh, don't be like that. You're great, too. Right, right. Anyway, that was just the situation when we last saw them. It might have changed by now. Who knows? Maybe a whole load more rookies will have turned up to join in. Besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show up as an instructor, I'm Cyrus will put you to work. Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Didn't he come with us? Albedo? You mean the alchemist from the Knights of Avonius? He's one of the instructors too? Nah, he just lives here. No, he just happened to be on Dragonspine. We were just with him, but then we heard you calling for help. He must have left us at some point after that. You mean snuck away. Hmm. Could he have gone back to keep looking for clues? Let's go back to the cavern and see if he's there. Oh, the actual objective point isn't too far away, so... Yeah, I didn't know this was a fishing spot. I did manage to get the catch I just need to fish up a few more fishies to get the enhancements. Still no sign of Albedo. This is weird. Where has he run off to? This is great. Dragon Spine's so fun today. There's so many people around. It's never usually like this. This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? Right? We heard his voice and went straight over to rescue him. Then we noticed Albedo was gone. Huh. So he just didn't feel like helping us save Bennett? No, I, I think it's probably the thief. Wait, what? What are you talking about? <gasps> Albedo? Where the heck have you been? We've been looking for you. It's real Albedo. I should be the one to ask you that. Didn't I tell you to stay at the cavern entrance? Huh? I'm not really following who was waiting for who and who was looking for who, but first things first. I think the side of his cape is also like the top of the Snow Tomb Star Silver Claymore, which is kind of cool. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on, but it seems like it's mostly my fault. No, no. Bennett. 
This is not because of you. You needn't blame yourself. Traveler, clear this up for me. What was the reason that you left the cavern entrance? Did you... <sighs> there you are. Stay right there. You have a lot of explaining to do. What? Me? Yeah, who? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping the new guy? <laughs> yes, that's what I would be doing if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking Jewel towards the wasteland at the edge of Dragonspine. That place is crawling with monsters. What the devil do you think you were doing? Uh, uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second. What's going on? Actually, wrong question. How much stuff is going on? When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back, you quickly fled. Care to explain? Uh... Oh. <laughs> Doesn't sound like me. I don't throw children. I see. Interesting. He's... He's too lackadaisical to give an appropriate response because that's just his freaking personality. Interesting. You are... It sounds like you met an imposter. Someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? That is difficult to draw a definitive conclusion for now. But these strange incidents do seem to be connected. A better recounts meeting you, discovering the thief at camp in the pursuit of the culprit. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Can the Traveler and Paimon testify that the three of you were together up until you entered the cavern? Yes, we can confirm that. As things stand, I don't have any reason to harm the child. Whoever you met is likely to be both the thief who stole my notes, and also an imposter. Of course, it's entirely natural for you to be skeptical of my story. I was separated from the Traveler and Paimon for a significant duration while we were pursuing the thief. My word alone cannot serve as a definitive account of my actions and whereabouts during that period. But the Traveler and Paimon can at least testify that I was not the individual who tore up the campsite or stole my notes. Albedo, do you have any enemies? Could it be one of your enemies impersonating you to get revenge on you or something? Uh, also keep in mind, I actually didn't see your notes get stolen. I saw the wreck afterwards, but I didn't actually see... Your home get torn up. I don't have any enemies. And I'm not aware of having given anyone cause to exact vengeance upon me. There is insufficient evidence to assert what happened with any certainty at this point. Given how serious the situation is, I intend to investigate it myself. Even if you decide not to pursue it any further. Like, I know there's probably an imposter because there was an albedo without the throat tattoo, but at the same time, just... Being completely honest, we actually didn't see your place get ransacked, so just in case it ends up becoming a point for later. You, uh, I won't discourage your ongoing suspicion of me if you can't believe my story. Though, naturally, I would hope you can afford me some credibility on account of our solidarity as fellow members of the Knights of Avonius. Traveler, Paimon, Bennett, if you are willing. I welcome you to monitor my activities beyond this point so that you can act as my witnesses. If I am what this imposter wants, he will come looking for me again eventually. Things can only become clearer from that point on. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, as preposterous as your claims sound. And I will choose to believe that an imposter went after Joel, and not you. I will keep Joel safe. If you need any support with the investigation, contact myself and Amber. You have my gratitude. As far as Amber goes, I will... Eula! Eula! Where are you? Oh dear, did someone take Joel? Amber, we're here! Eula! Oh, and Traveler, Paimon, Albedo, and Bennett, you're all together. Great. Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. 
he was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. He wasn't wrong. <laughs> yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Well, now that I found you, let's go check in with Cyrus. Where is small child? Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents, but nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Sure, I'm ready to go. <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three. Traveler, can we talk somewhere else? There's something I need to tell you. Okay. Let's go to my camp. I find it really interesting that that cage had a story purpose, like, literally a whole year later. Just saying. It's probably faster to warp, too. Yeah. Do really need one, like, right outside it. I thought it was accessories for some reason. I'm like, that's not marked. My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly without reservation. But before that. You want me to help wow. you clean? What a mess! I can help tidy this. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just be careful with the chemicals. Watch what you touch. I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. Trust me, the dust is not the thing I'm worried about the most here. It's spilled chemicals that you're not supposed to touch with your bare hands unless they ex are extremely harmful or lethal. Trust me, if we spill something in our lab, we have to have a specialized crew come in. Everything is in order. It's time to talk. You look really serious right now. Is this about what happened earlier? <sighs> I remember I once told you that you must have questions, and then I would answer them. I also said that, while I did not wish to deceive you, there were certain things I could not go into detail on. I am a synthetic human being. A human forged by human hand. The one who created me. My mother and teacher. Her name is Rhyme Daughter. A researcher from Conria. Also known as Gold. Yeah, I, I actually knew that for like a year. <laughs> this isn't actually as surprising to me as you think it is. I can read between the lines even if I don't always voice it. A synthetic human? What the... How the heck does that work? He's a homunculi. When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being... Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. 
Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Agreed. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? I like it here, actually. Rhine Daughter created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Durin? So that makes you guys brothers? Not quite, but. As sons of Rhine Daughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. Um, speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was quite special. A strange and tenacious life force that was held within a sword that Bennett currently now has. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. About that, there's something else I couldn't say earlier. Oh, right! Paimon knows what you mean! When Eula and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because it would only make you more suspicious, so Paimon kept quiet. There, we have a method of keeping Paimon quiet. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in, and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come with us. And when we got back to the cavern to go find you, suddenly you were the one looking for us. Thank you, Paimon. You have picked up on literally the bare minimum. So... It seems that you met my imposter too. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would have guessed. Missing some finer details, but. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Jules? Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there. This is a cursed tale, and it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I am afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. I am not going anywhere. We have quest objectives to meet, and rewards to obtain. Mom and I and I will help the investigation. Yeah, we're Dragonspine veterans by now. If there's something really bad going on, we can't just leave you here to deal with it on your own. That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? And we have limited time quest goodies that do not repeat. Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucrose and Demaeus don't know your secret. <laughs> secret, <laughs> yes. We're the only ones who can help. Yeah, don't push us away at a time like this. All right, thank you. <laughs> He's like, I'm a homunculus, and we're just over here like, yes, we know this, and we love you. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. I can remain here for whatever reason. I so damn choose. I don't have any loyalties. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild as planned. And be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me, or someone like me... We'll be sure to pass the info straight on to you! Good. Then we're agreed. You want to change your outfit or something so he can't mimic you? Okay, let's split up to look for clues, then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time. Here, take one of these hair flowers. They can't be reproduced. Sounds good to me. 
But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. And Act 1 complete, the snowy past.